Hey, what's up, guys? I'm in front of a computer store, and today we will build up a desktop for my friend. She is a computer killer. She is really good at to kill any computers, and I still don't know whether I can keep this camera on when I in the store because we didn't talk with them, and they not our sponsor as well. I will try my best to keep this camera on and let you guys know what computer parts we will get. Let's go. After about two hours, we finally got the whole setup, the whole parts here. Let's have a look what we have got. We have got an Acer 27 inch monitor that actually for gaming purpose and.、Uh, It's a 4K IPS. Also, we got the Inwin 303. For our case, it's a mid tower and white one. You know, for girls they love pink or white. But my friend just told me she is a computer killer. So probably she have no idea. About what color she really likes, really prefer, and also, let's have a look at this big box. What inside that? This is the i9, the ninth generation CPU from Intel. I love this board. It's Looks really beautiful.、Hmm. If you followed my channel, you know I got one for my own hacking touch, and、uh, actually is put on my computer case now like a decoration. Okay, let's have a look. What else? Yeah. Here, it's a PSU from Corsair. It's RM one thousand I. That means one thousand watt. That can give you enough power for your new monster. Okay, let's go in on. What else we got is. And we got sixty-four graphic card from Asus as well. It's not really a powerful graphic card for gaming purpose, but it is the best graphic card for a、uh, hacking touch for Mac system. Then. We got memories from Corsair as well. It's a thirty-two gigabytes kit, three thousand two hundred megahertz. It's pretty cool. White color as well. Then what else? Yeah, it's the motherboard. Asus motherboard. From Republic of Gamers, it's the re uh it's the eleven series Halo. And the the case fan from Corsair as well. HD one twenty RGB. That's colorful, but I don't think that is. Really necessary, cause she told me she will put that case under this desk. That means you cannot see nothing. You you can see nothing. Yeah. Ah, another one is from Samsung, the SSD nine seventy Pro. 
It's really good, powerful, and fast speed. Like its title, it's really got high performance. I actually thought we can got the new one from Samsung that is 970 EVO Plus, but unfortunately, it's not suited for a Mac system. That means we have to go this one. It's not really. It's not really speedy like the latest one from Samsung, but it cost you much more than that, a hundred dollar at least. Okay, the last one is a water cooler from Coursera as well, H one fifty i. That's a pretty cool. Okay, it's really. Exciting moment, right? We will going to open this case. Wow! Republic of Gamers. Out.、Oh. Have a look what else in this case. Speakers. Yeah, you can stick it to anywhere you want. Probably you can get a Republic of the car, yeah, RG car. That's a good idea. Menus, CD, and、uh, yeah, user guide. Not important. Take it out. See here on the motherboard, it's got HDMI, DP, Type C, and、uh, USB three, USB three, and USB two audios. It's pretty good and powerful motherboard. This powerful CPU. By the way, Inter, can I give you a suggestion? Next time you can make something much more easier for your user, and I can say, "Hi Siri, open the box." It can be open automatically, right? I nine 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 o o k. Uh oh, something jump up. No worries, it's a shell. It now means you broken your motherboard, okay? It just a shell. <laughs> Now we can return it to the computer store and tell them it's not working. And then what we will get is screwdrivers. Unbox this SSD. This small thing costs you about four hundred fifty dollars. Your SSD. Now. You can image that, right? Okay. Put it here and hold your screwdriver. Then screw up your motherboard. I mean, drive your screws up. Not really screw up the motherboard. Before we going on, we put it back again and return it to the computer store as well. Then 
Memories. 네, install the two memories to here. Uh, normally, I will put if you just got two memories. Normally, I put them to the first one and the third one. If you got four of them, no matter you fit it in. Yeah, pretty much done with this part. Now, next step. We will emboss our case and put this motherboard and the CPU memories in that case. Screws and uh, cable management stuff. It's quite a good graphic card for uh, for 4K video editing, but if you use it for gaming, I don't think it's really a good gaming graphic card. Mm. If you got a budget like this set, I suggest you can go to 2080 Ti. It's still the best graphic card till now. It's not really helpful, but if a new bird for building computers, mm, the manual should be the best way you can learn how to build it. I don't think we will use that power cable because we got a separate PSU that would include it in that case. Cool, huh? Okay, we put everything back. Personally, I just suggest everyone do not destroy your original case. Just in case you want to resell it again and you can give your buyer the original pack. Otherwise, return it to the computer store and tell them it's not working. We are unboxing this one. The case fan from Corsair. It's my embarrassed. I just found I made a fault is I should install the fans first, then graphic card. After a lot of work, we finally managed to install this three fans. Then we will go into install this one, the CPU water cooler from Corsair as well. And uh, let's open the case. Menus, menus. Put it away. 
drag this out. So it's got three fans here, and the accessories. Okay, let's install that. Just in case you're not wasting your time, we will show you the aftermount one. Finally, we nearly done now, and uh, the last thing we need to install is. Power supply. Oh, this one is RM1000i from Corsair Abel. It can supply here 1000 volt. So it can give you enough power to your new monster. Okay, let's unbox it. Okay, manual first and the warranty. Whew. That's what we need. Finally gets this new monster set it down and from now on we can talking about how to install a hacking touch. Before we installing that we need to do something prepared. What we need is two USBs, one for your motherboard wires and another for the new system. Mojave. Then we insert one USB inside a Mac and search our motherboard type online. I got the Acer Maximus 11 Hero and find its official website on Acer. Clicking then Find this support and uh, driver and utility in BIOS and the firmware. We download the latest firmware. Then unzip it. Press Command C to copy and then go to the USB, use Command plus V to paste it, put it into your USB, then inject, close that. Another one I sh would to share with you guys is TonyMacX86.com This website is really useful for a hacking touch. Then we search our motherboard type in that website. Then 
you can see a lot of samples, successful samples here. Also, if you like me, got the Vega 64. I input it as keyword to find a more similar configuration shared by others. I would like to use this guide to install my hacking touch. In the post, you can see it's really detailed. The bow settings and uh, Vega 64 graphics settings, and also it includes how to make a Mojave installation USB guide. Okay, we. We'll start with the bow settings part. Follow this part to configure it our new monsters bows. Then open the Apple Store, search Mojave. Click on view and get it. To download the latest Mojave system for our installation. We will follow this installation guide, the Mojave desktop guide, and use Unibit to install macOS Mojave on our USB. Then we plug the USB to our new monster and enter the files. In the to section, you can see Easy Flash 3 utility Press enter, use the storage, click next, then you can see the USB here, and click on that, select our new cap, this one, do you want to read this file, yes. Do you really want to update your files? Absolutely. And it's in processing now. Then we follow the guide in Extreme Tweaker. Enable this Extreme Tweaking. And change the AI Overlock Tuner to XMP1. Then in Advanced. Press enter to system agent configuration. We disable the VTD and keep above 4G decoding disabled. Then press enter to graphic configuration. Then we change the primary display to PCIe. Some motherboard is PCG and then we back to the advanced main menu and enter the USB configuration then change that legacy USB support to enable and enable the handoff. 
and press ESC again. Back to the main menu. We'll go to the boot one and enter the boot configuration. Change the fast boot to disable. And also, if you don't want to see the boot logo, you can disable it. But I just leave it on. Then we go to the secure boot. Change the OS type to other OS. And in key management, the first time you need to clear your secure boot keys. After all these settings, we go to the exit and select save changes and reset. You can see what I have changed here. That's all I changed. If you are using a motherboard from Acer as well, you can follow my steps. Otherwise, just check your motherboard configuration in Tony Mac. You can find your configurations on that website. Press OK to restart. Then we plug the USB with Mojave to USB 2. Remember, you must plug it to USB 2, now USB 3. Then during restart, we press the F8. Keep pressing, keep pressing. F8 to select our USB as start up. Now we are going to Clover. Yeah. And press enter. This process probably need up to one minute. If you are seeing this screen, do not worry. Just because you plug your USB into a wrong place. Again, during reboot, we press F8. To select our USB as start up. Press enter. And after two minutes waiting, we finally can see this screen. Now we finally can install it. Select English. Press next. Before we install that, we need this disk utility. Press continue. And then click here. Show all devices select our hard drive press erase give it a name i will name it as macintosh and start the journal gui erase Click cross and install the Mac OS. You 
during this process, it would reboot automatically twice, or I think it's twice. When it's booted, we need keep pressing F8 to select our USB as the startup drive. As I just mentioned, it will reboot automatically. So we press F8 to select our USB as our startup drive again. Press Enter. But this time, we will choose the second one, boot Mac OS install from Macintosh. Press Enter. After two times reboot, the setup should be completed in this time. If it still keep rebooting, you need to change your EFI settings. Please remember, if you encounter any problems, just check that problem on that website. You can find a lot of solutions on that website. Remember, we are not the first one to install a hacking touch. So, probably every problem we facing is not only our problem. That it is easy to search the solutions online. Okay, it's finally finished. It will be restarted automatically. Now, we can start our fresh hacking touch by enter. Finally, we have our hacking touch totally done. You can enjoy your new monster from now. Again, for everyone new to Hacking Touch, do not afraid anything. Whatever the part you have got and whatever the motherboard or CPU memories that can be sealed for your Hacking Touch. If you get any problems, you can check your problem on the Tony Mac or leave a comment below. This is today's tutorial. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe me and turn on that bell. See you in next video. Ciao. She is a computer killer.